What's up, everyone? Is Tiana officially Doom and Nerf to the ground? We're going to find out in this patch review. Let's get right into it for the boys. So listen, Akali. So honestly, I try to play that champion. It's just a terrible champion. You're not a champion before level 6, which is really a problem because there's some champions that they unlock level 6, but they still can do damage early on. I'm thinking about this, I don't know, like Pike, for example, you know, Velka's champions like that. But like Akali, like you, if you kill someone before level 6, like they're a bot. They're just not possible anymore with the nerf they did. So I think it's just a bad champion. Griff is my perma ban now. This guy, uh, I think it's a pretty big nerf, to be honest. 10% per pallet. pallet. Oh, no, I think it's okay. I uh, don't know, we need to see in game, I don't really know. This is just terrible champion. Just, nah, we're buffing Kane. <sighs> really, bro? It's disgusting, this company, man. Nah, I'm being honest, I don't know why Kha'Zix being nerfed. Like, I'm being honest, I, I think it's a shit champion. Percent max health heal, we're nerfing. Okay, let's just go right into it. Okay, baby, let's go. Okay, so base health reduced by 70. This is massive for mid lane. This is a mid. This is crying mid lane nerf to me, which doesn't make any sense because right now the problem is not mid, it's jungle. Let me move my hoodie because we're getting serious here, bro. It doesn't make any sense. Like, why are you nerfing the 70 mid? Like, it's mostly going to affect mid because jungle, you know, you're, you're not, no one's going to want you except you get invaded, of course, but like, you get more HP after level 4, so it's basically a massive mid lane nerf. Massive mid lane nerf. You could get zone by XP now. Every single 1v1 that you could win early on, like Silas, Zed, Champions like that, you're not, gonna be, you're not even able to win anymore. Like, you're gonna get destroyed. Big nerf. Uh, we go jump to the Q, so he's losing 10 damage early, but then you're getting 10 damage late. Okay. With a 15% nerf on bonus AD. Okay, I thought it was more than that. I thought it was usually... The first nerf was 90 to 80. And then they went to 90 to 70, and then they, they went to middle ground, so they went to 75. So I see that it still removed 20% on the E, though, which is massive. So this is really not that big of a nerf, to be honest. It looks like it's a big nerf, which it kind of is, to be honest. But I think the champion was really, really broken, guys. Like To be honest, the champion was not balanced. So like this is a big nerf, and I'm kind of happy for it because I don't think Kano's going to be pick or ban anymore. Um... I think it's going to be a lot more fun for me because I could pick her in every game and just because I, I, I really love the champion right? and I don't play her because she's broken. Now, this is kind of big because when you think about it, <clears throat> it's a 20% bonus AD nerf, which is kind of massive. Like, if you have 100 AD, you know, it would give 70 bonus damage on the E, but now it's going to get 50, so it's 20 damage less. So they compensate it pretty much by giving it more damage, which is honestly kind of massive. Like this looks like a small buff, but it's actually like, I don't even see this as a nerf to be honest. The reason is the average game is like 24 minutes where I play challenger, the high, the lower you go, obviously the higher the game uh, times are, but at the end of the day, no games really goes to like 40 to 50 minutes, except for like iron. So it's like this portion, like 20% bonus CD doesn't really matter if you max E second. And this is where I think the E second max will be better now because you're kind of going to get a lot more damage early. Of course, you're going to miss a bit of damage later, but like mid to uh, to late game, mid to early game, you're going to get more damage when you, I mean, it's mostly mid game because you max E second now, right? So mid game, you're going to get more damage and it's actually kind of a lot of damage, 170 to, two, to 210. And I think the W max second was mostly better because of the movement speed. I think that's why it was good, but... Keep in mind, like, when you move now and you're on the being meta, like, you don't really need the movement speed that much. So, it's mostly about the attack speeding on it, magic damage. But I think maxing E is going to be better now second. I'll definitely test it for the boys and let you guys know. But I think the maxing E second will be better now. It's definitely a big nerf. It's definitely a big nerf. Because if you don't max E second, you're going to see a big difference in damage now, which is big. Uh, so, overall, big nerf. But I think it was deserved. Uh, Renekton, if you go into it, this guy's getting buffed again. Okay, whatever, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, I just don't, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Okay, what is this? Knockback duration. Danger exam. I'm going over a wall. Okay. You have a, a Zader, what's his name? Zader Vi, Zader, Zader Vert, whatever the fuck his name is. Yo, bro, I can't read too much, bro. I just woke up, honestly. Cancel. <laughs> <gasps> the Yumi nerf, finally, the Yumi's getting nerfed. <laughs> I mean, it's not really that big of a nerf. It's mostly a nerf when they were going Ludens, but if you still go Moonstone, I feel like the champion's still broken. Of course, we both go drinker, of course. 
times, man. Bro, it's been this time has been bad for one patch, bro. They buff it again. But I'm gonna be honest, like I'm 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 actually being for real. Like I think this item is shit. I, I don't think it's that good. I think it's like okay or like good if you build it on champions that like need to build it like Lee Sin and stuff. But like, if you compare this Gore Ginger to the one before the rework, like honestly, like ah it's not even close. Like this item is just terrible. Like I, if you follow my channel, you know I used to build Gore Ginger every game on channel, like even if I was playing mid. I like Gordon more than Prowlers. Then I tried building it again after the rework. I think it's the worst item I've ever built. I think I'd rather build Ever Frost or something. Like, this is so bad. This this felt so bad. This item is so shit. So, like, honestly, I don't really mind. Zenny can have bug the Q, no. Alright, that's it for the patch, boys. If you guys enjoyed the patch, I'll see you guys next. Peace out, guys.